The purpose of this video is to describe the process of exporting part files from Raptor into PettyMat format. First, with files showing here in your pending part window, you can either right click on the header, in this case Tecla, and export files, or you can right click on a single part and export that part. Today we're going to use the entire list and right click on the header. Go to export all parts, Petty Mat 2D. This new window opens up. We'll come back to this window momentarily after we describe the different tabs we have here. The first tab we have is the feature filter. On this tab, you'll also notice that there are other profile tabs for angles, beams, channels, plates, and tubes. These tabs are all identical with the exception of you get different choices based upon the profile itself. Since a plate only has a web and an underside, you only see the two choices there. But on the other profiles, you have the additional surfaces that show up. You can choose to export a particular profile or not. So if you had many files in your list here on the left hand side and you chose not to export angles in this case, we could just turn off that export button and those files would not be exported. You can choose which features to export on each particular type of profile. Maybe you don't want scribes or copes. You can turn those things off just simply by unchecking the box. You can export scribes as character marks. So if there are, is a piece mark on the part, you can choose to export it. You simply put in your character set here and tell it which surfaces you want to export the text scribes for. And you can also include the part information, mark the part information there as well. If you want to force the holes to be referenced from the beginning or the left end of the part, you can check this box. If you want to export miter information, you can check this box. If you want to correct miters for a maximum angle, if, if your saw is only capable of a certain degree and you choose to correct those miters so that they do not go past that point, you can. You simply check the box and put in the degree that you want to stop those miters at whatever you want to consider to be your maximum angle. You can also correct bevels for a maximum angle. This would be a, a, a bevel on a flange or something along those lines, uh, like a weld prep on, a, on the flange of a beam. Many copers are only capable of going to 45 degrees this would limit that torch to only go to 45 and uh, would still allow the, the cope to be completed. And as I said, you would simply go through and set all of the different profile tabs to be the way you want them to be. And then we can go to the optimization tab. If you happen to be exporting files for an ABC 1250 coper or an ABC M 1250 coper, you may want to combine uh, identical copes on the flanges. So if there are flange thins or block copes on, on the flanges that are identical, uh, you could choose to do this and at that point the torches on the top and bottom flanges would both burn at the same time. You can choose to order the copes always, never, and in case if, if you choose to do never it will export it as uh, it was imported into Raptor. Or you can also tell it to order parts with non-manual copes. So if there were files that you imported and copes that were imported and then you had added additional manual copes to it, it would only order the ones that were imported and would leave the manual copes alone. So if you do that, you have additional choices here of ordering parts with mixed design, which would be some that were imported and some that were had been modified or changed to manual. 
and you can also treat macro copes as manual copes. So you have many choices here. In most cases you're going to choose always. Uh, for most structural fabricators always will be just fine. Only if you're doing quite elaborate things or things that have to be processed in a certain order would you want to change this. If you need to put a cope reference point offset, x-axis offset in, uh, instead of it being zero if the copes are off by a certain amount and you need to reference those from someplace other than directly on the end, you can do that uh, simply by putting that value here in this box. And if you want to order the copes in reverse, if you want them to do uh, these copes instead of, you know, the flanges instead of the web first, you can always tell it to order it in reverse. The distance that the torch tip on the flanges is going to be away from the flange itself needs to be put here for, for beveling, for the bevel angles and such. We need to know the distance that torch tip is back away from the surface at a zero degree cut so that we can calculate the angles appropriately and the positions appropriately. The last thing we have here is extending the flange cuts. When we're making a flange cut, we will always want to extend it past the edge so that we make sure that the flange gets cut off completely. Due to mill tolerance of the shape, the surface is not always exactly what it is theoretically supposed to be. Uh, instead of being six inches, it might be six and an eighth or something like that. Of course, we always want to extend that cut past to make sure we get that additional bit cut off. So here you put in how far you want to extend it past the edge, and you can tell it to exp extend past uh, an upper edge and you can tell it to extend past a lower edge. Uh, if it was cutting uh, upward in that cut, uh, in this case maybe we're cutting here and cutting up, we, we want to cut past that way. If we're cutting here and cutting down, we want to extend past that way. So that's why we have upper and lower uh, possibilities here. For the folders, here's where we tell it where to put the petty mat files and you can simply browse to find your location and select it and it will show right here. You can see that I'm currently putting it in a in a petty mat uh, file folder on my C drive. And my COPE files also are going into a COPE's folder in that same location. I can choose to create individual assembly folders and I can also allow long length COPE files. If you're using an ABC M1250 coper, you can do this. If you happen to be using an ABC 1000, you cannot use long length cope files. That machine was limited to a 12 inch stroke and you can only have uh, the 12 inch length there. So you would not want to have that checked if you're on the older ABC 1000 machine. But an ABC 1250, you can check this and it will burn copes that are longer than 12 inches. If you want to export files into individual shape directories, you simply select this and then browse to find the directory that you want to put it in. You can also choose to embed them within a project folder. At that point, when you do export it, it will see what the project is on those part files, create it, and embed those files inside that particular project. The last tab we have is the Tools tab. This Tools tab only matters on drills. So it does not matter on any punches or any burning machines. The number of tools needs to match the number of tools that your particular machine has. If in Petty Mat it only lists three tools per surface, then you need to choose three. If by chance it lists nine, or six, you need to select that number of tools. The values that you have in these cells right here should match the values that are in this Petty Mat Tools window. 
So this is the standard tools window in PettyMat. So whatever these values are is exactly what we should see in these values as well. So just match those up and Raptor will export and uh, associate the hole diameters with the proper tool number based on your standard tools in PettyMat. And you can also tell it to only export the specified number of tools. So you have some, uh, a lot of variation, a lot of capabilities here to match the Raptor files to what they need to be in PettyMat. Once you have all of this selected and everything set the way you want it set, Go back to the general tab and you can hit go. Here you, we can see that it exported all four parts and you simply close the window and it's completed. That ends this video. Thank you.